Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm trapped in a tiny box right now. Can you all save me please? But for the sake of teaching you and making an at me a piece of cake, here I am once again and this time I am here with my sacred plexus. Not mine, but like yours, but like everyone's sacred plexus. So I'm going to make sure that in this video you're going to understand this. I have a little shortcut which I kind of learned from one of the YouTubers. I will give that person credit obviously because I'm not going to steal someone's hard-earned uh, effort. All I'm going to do is reproduce uh, his efforts and, you know, try to explain sacral plexus to you in my way, obviously. Guys, so stay tuned if you want to understand this lame uh, terrain topic because, yeah, it is kind of uh, lame, you know. Okay. Let's get started, guys. So first, what I want you to do is sacral plexus. What is plexus? Plexus is a bundle of nerves coming from the spinal cord. Spinal cord gives nerves. If it's sacral plexus, then it's the sacral part of the spinal cord. All right. So sacral spinal nerves are coming out and they're like, where do we go? We're so confused right now. And all of a sudden, you're going to come to them and be like, honey, you need to make the sacral plexus right now. And I've used the Chersey of medical lectures, uh, complete copyright or credits to him. And I'm going to treat teach you the shortcut that he taught me. I don't know if he originally it himself, but like um, whoever, whatever. Let's just get started with this, all right? So what I want you all to do is uh, the plexus of nerves are going to come from L4 to S4, all right? That's easy. L4 se lekar, S4 kar do, L4, S4. Makes sense? What you're going to do is you're going to draw uh, the sacral plexus in the most simplified form. This is what you're going to do. You're going to draw two columns. You're going to write down over here that you can see. You're going you're gonna to write down L4, L5, S1, S2, S3, S4. And on the uh, right side, you're going to write similarly L4, L5, S1, but S2. S3 or S4, bicharon ko thoda sa ditch karna padega is part mein. I hope you guys don't mind. Before I even talk further, guys, I have a crash course which has the complete um, sacral plexus related pelvic anatomy, everything. If you want that course, it is a paid course. And if you want that, you can totally Instagram DM me. I my I'm on Instagram as uh, Doctor Dot Hasna. All right. So let's continue. So guys, here's the deal. Uh, you're going to draw two columns. Done. Now what you're going to do is S3, S4 ko ditch kar dena on the right side. All right. Now what you're going to do is uh, this left side is the ventral side. The right side is the dorsal side. Ek bohat bada na challenge hone wale. Like who will win tug of war wala scene. Thik hai? Ventral divisions are going to come from this side. Dorsal are going to come from this side. I hope that makes sense. So we've simplified it as much as we could. Is you, all you're going to do is wing it. Easy kaam karte hai. All you have to do is ek line maar do yun karke. Bas line maar di. Jab line maari to you're gonna be like one second i think i've produced a proper nerve guys what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use these lines and we're gonna weave out a beautiful dress for all of us and that dress will contain nerves so the first dress uh, so the first thread that we passed randomly just pass randomly you're gonna pass it uh, and the rule is that you're going to pass it through three uh, different root values. All right. So first we've passed and whatever that has come out of it is coming from the dorsal side. So dorsal division of the L4, L5, S1. These are what give the superior gluteal nerve. Now, if anyone asks you what is the root value of superior gluteal nerve, all you'll do is quote L4, L5, S1. How easy was that? Similarly, now do we're gonna weave another thread so let's pass another thread guys and this time we'll just go one stair down and we're gonna do the same thing for with three levels of the root divisions all right and once we'll take this out this will be the inferior gluteal nerve now if anybody asks you the value of inferior gluteal nerve you'll, you'll say l5 s1 s2 wow brilliant and finally, what you're going to do is, niche to kuch hai nahi. Cholo, ye dono ye do stairs let's just like combine them together since we can't combine L5, then it will inferior gluteal nerve. Banjagi. The only combination we have left is S1 and S2. And this will be your nerve to the piriformis. Alright, now if I talk about what these nerves are supplying, honey, nerve to piriformis, who supply karegi? Piriformis, ko, obviously. Superior gluteal nerve is going to supply the superiority complex people, which are the gluteus medius minimus. I've already talked about this in my crash course and in my other um videos all right and inferior gluteal nerve inferiority complex gluteus maximus that makes a lot of sense let's move to the ventral side now similarly you're gonna draw stairs Pehla stair, vesi banaoge, and you'll keep going one stair down but you'll include three each time make sense let's go so once again l4 l5 s1 bante. next kya bante? Ye l5 s1 s2 bante. makes sense okay Phir s3 s2 s1 ek stair niche jate rehna, hai? and finally akhri thread hum kar dete hai, s4 wow that didn't work S4, oh no, 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 no. S4, S2, S3. S2, S3, S4, basically. 
फिर एक दम से वेंट्रल डिविजन ने देखा डॉर्सल डिविजन को वेंट्रल डिविजन लुक्स एट द डॉर्सल डिविजन गोज लाइक हे वाई डज द डॉर्सल डिविजन हैव दिस पार्ट just two people joining why are we your only three people joining let's just uh, copy the dorsal divisions because this is a competition we need to copy it so that we are equally cool so what the ventral side will do it will also with its last two it will form another nerve all right once you've made the woven all of these threads together what you're going to do is now let's talk about the nerves the first nerve that's going to come out is going to be the nerve to qf quadratus femoris you guys remember it from lower limb if you don't then go ahead and go study lower limb do not come here do not come asking me guys so first is nerve to quadratus what is the supply honey quadratus femoris of course and what else with the quadratus femoris iq i've already mentioned these mnemonics in my videos all right i also have lower limb crash course if you want that and all of those all right so qf plus the uh, in inferior jamila and then we have the next nerve to quadratus femoris hogi dusri kaun si hoti hai nerve to obturator internus so this is if you if anybody asks you the root value you can easily see from over here and then be like l5 s1 s2 max makes complete sense right so obturator internus which is going to supply what the so the superior jamilus and o obturator internus all right then let's go to s1 s2 s3 this forms a really random nerve that nobody cares about don't tell that nerve that i'm saying this it is the posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh let's not talk too much depth of that its name says it that's going to supply the skin of the posterior part of the thigh i'm sorry i'm not going to give you too much value then comes a very important nerve in the pelvis s2 s3 s4 this is known as pudendal nerve do not forget this nerve it comes it emerges from the sacral plexus as s2 s3 s4 do not forget the root values then it goes into greater sciatic uh, notch then it spins this pudendal nerve is quite double minded in its life decision maker achhi nahi hai it goes from the greater sciatic form and then enters again into the pelvis pehle chhoda hai pelvis phir wapas enter ho gaya mujhe nahi samajh aati yaar is nerve ki aap log dekh lo and once it enters the lesser sciatic form and it enters your uh, pudendal canal and supplies the you know perineum and stuff and finally we have the sts for this supplies are beautiful muscles of the pelvic diaphragm the coccygeus and the levator and i all right just when you think that the sacral plexus is over it is actually not honey yeah itna mushkil hai please ab bas kar do no honey it just got started just kidding there's just one last nerve that i want you to remember and i'm sure most of you that have it in your mind you guys are geniuses and my toppers that are going to make me proud but the ones that don't it's okay you're going to learn now every day is a new uh, opportunity to learn things right so guys first what i want you to do is ditch s4 you know why because it doesn't deserve a place here why because s4 is basically anatomy in real life if you hate anatomy ditch it by ditching s4 i don't know i had to do that so you guys remember all right so once we've ditched s4 what i'm gonna, what you're going to do is simple from the dorsal divisions of all of these take out a nerve all right now from the ventral division stake out a similar nerve just exclude s4 quite simple these two will meet over here and say that we form all together the largest nerve of the sacral plexus i think it's enough with the suspense it is the sciatic nerve and if you guessed it right then welcome to the club honey we are going to top and make those teachers rethink their decision of saying to us that we can't do it I'm sure you guys have faced such teachers in your life. I am not one of them. I hopefully. All right. The sciatic nerve is formed by a common peroneal part and a tibial part. All right. So the common peroneal part comes from the dorsal divisions and the tibial part comes from the ventral divisions. Now remember, if anybody asks you the root value of the common peroneal part of the sciatic nerve, you're going to say dorsal divisions of the. Don't forget to say the word dorsal. Dorsal division of L4 to S2. whereas the ventral part is a uh, ventral division sorry tibial part is the ventral division of the l4 to s3 and guess what you nailed it well done guys so that was all for the sacral plexus make sure you remember it this way once again thanking the person that has made the shortcut and made it all easy for us i will always give credit to the person that invented it and i expect the same if you learn a mnemonic that is made by me do not take my credit for it just kidding guys really hope you understood really hope i could make it a piece of cake do not forget to subscribe to my channel hopefully we meet again you can instagram me at any time you should follow me on the instagram because i post some really important things on my story of instagram it is uh, handle is at dr rohit hasna and i'll see you in the next video guys until then keep anatomying yeah i just made that right now <laughs> love it bye bye